uh, give us a sense of the kind of demand you're anticipating over the next 12 months, 24 months. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, the drink market in India per se is positive. In the next 12 months, we look uh, a, a linear growth. Uh, three of the states are sponsored ports of booming up, and one major port is uh, a greenfield port is getting developed. So we anticipate the dredging, uh, dredging market per se in India is going to be very, very positive in the next 12 months. And, in, and this project will spill over till the completion of three, three years. So for the next three years, we really look the market to be very positive. So give us a sense of the kind of revenue and profit you're looking at because the pandemic threw a spanner in the works and there were headwinds from COVID-19. I do, I, do, I do agree with you. Pandemic has played a very crucial role. Uh, in fact, in fact, some of our projects and uh, the efficiencies have dropped. When I say the efficiencies have dropped, the, 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 the revenue has also dropped. Having said that, uh, it's 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 one part of uh, it's one part of the uh, revenue drop story. However, we are very positive because of uh, a few projects in the pipeline, like the uh, greenfield ports, and we are sure we will have a turnaround in the in the next 12 months. And in, and after 12 months, we should suddenly have a very positive growth. And as far as the numbers are concerned, uh, bridging and the development of the port, we are looking at about 45 to 60 thousand crores, uh, Indian rupees. Out of which, dredging component should be about 3,000 to 4,000 crores in the next uh, four years. Tell me, George, are you benefiting from uh, the central government's uh, push to get more uh, things built, i.e. infrastructure? Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, uh, with the proactive measures of the central government, uh, the government of India, Dredging Corporation of his Dredging Corporation of India is getting benefited uh, through Atmanibar Bharat, uh, which is All right. and Dredging We are building the first trailer section of a dredger in one of the Indian uh, ports uh, in the in the Indian shipyard. So that will give a boost to the Indian uh, market as such. And obviously, the uh, government of India has also played a very major major role in nominating the jobs to Dredging Corporation of India on a, on a, on a, a nomination basis. Yeah, George, I mean, you know, you uh, have also a lot of private ports now you're having to deal with as well. How do you, do you, do you stand to benefit from companies such as uh, companies, uh, private ports like Krishna, uh, Napatnam, and also don't forget what Adani's been doing as well? Uh, the private ports in India, they have their own bridges, like Krishna Patnam, you rightly pointed out, they have four of their own bridges. Uh, Adani, they have three of their own bridges. So they cater to their own uh, internal requirements. Having said that, whenever they need an external agency to a external company or an external agency to assist them in bridging, they always come back to the market to find out a suitable contractor to do uh, work for them. Otherwise, I do consider the private ports as a closed market in India. So, George, would you say that competition is rising from the likes of Adani ports, for instance? Uh, the competition among the ports are rising because there are a lot of private ports coming up, which are giving a tough competition to the government ports. And the government of India has recently also determined to privatize some of the major ports. So with that, I'm looking at the dredging market will also have tough competition in the days ahead. George, how about internationally? How much of the dredging market are you looking to secure? Uh, internationally, as of now, Beijing Corporation of India uh, has no plans to uh, get into the international market. We wanted to first cater to the Indian market. And there are certain uh, 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 issues that we face. One is the capacity augmentation. So once we cater to the Indian requirements, we will certainly uh, move out of India to the international market. Once we move out of India to the international market, we are looking at about two to four percent of the international market to be captured by Dredging Corporation of India to start with. 
George, I'm not exactly in any way, shape or form uh, an, uh, an expert on dredging in any way, but can you tell me a, a sense of how this uh, whole industry is evolving and how you are modernizing and what investments you've been making? Our dredging industry uh, is, is, is one particular industry where you have to have continuous innovation, continuous uh, uh, modernization of your dredgers because the clients wanted to be very, very sure what, what they are paying for, and they wanted to make, make sure that the navigational channels have the required depth to bring in the giant size uh, ships. And now it's all commercial, and now it's all e economical-based uh, 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 industry, and we are more a service industry rather than an infrastructure industry. Having said that, we continuously upgrade our bridges, we modernize our bridges, to the latest innovations uh, which is uh, happening uh, across the globe and thereby we keep abreast of the developments across the globe. Okay, so the thing is, you know, as you do that, what can you then uh, really do in terms of, uh, you know, uh, I said to ask you about the international push you've been making, is there any particular place you're targeting? Uh, initially, for the international market, uh, we are targeting only the Indian subcontinent and the Middle East uh, because the working culture and working environment is almost the same rather than uh, going to the West or to the Far East where there are certain different cultures. So we wanted to first try out uh, uh, within within our uh, uh, culture. So, uh, so we will be successful in that. And once you are successful, then we will suddenly look into the other markets. Uh, George, you're looking at higher fuel prices, and uh, if we got it right, then you're having difficulty passing it down to your customers. I mean, how will this play out? Uh, fuel price plays a very vital role because uh, the fuel component is about 25% uh, to 36% is uh, the fuel component in my price. So whenever there is an increase in fuel, obviously, the fuel escalation or de-escalation are, are a part of the tender, tender itself. So we do not get a big uh, uh, push to that. Uh, but, but if it is an escalation, then obviously this has to be borne by the uh, employer or the ports. If it is a de-escalation, then we have to reimburse a part of the money which we had built it, uh, in our price. So the fuel price do not make a big difference for us, but it makes a big difference for the uh, clients.